Hi friends, it's Mrs. Kirshner, and I'm here to read you all a book. What do you think this book might be about? Butterflies, possibly? Yeah. This is a butterfly on the front, and that's a nice big picture, isn't it? You can see that it has two feelers or antenna, and you can see it's three body parts. It's got a head and a thorax, which is this middle part, and then it's got an abdomen that's right here, okay? And it also has six legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and then there's another one over here you can barely see. Six. It's an insect, and you can tell that a butterfly is an insect because it has three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen, and it has six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have a head and a thorax and an abdomen too, don't you? That's your belly, okay? But you only have two legs and two arms. You're not an insect, are you? All right, so this one's called The Life of the Butterfly. B -b letter B for butterfly. All right, this first page says, this book tells about a butterfly called the Cabbage White. So it's a Cabbage White butterfly. And on each page, you will find a mystery fact, okay? And to read the mystery fact, we'll have to turn the book upside down, okay? These are butterfly eggs on a cabbage leaf. It's called a cabbage butterfly because its babies eat cabbage leaves. Cabbage is sort of like lettuce, okay? All caterpillars start life inside a tiny egg. These eggs have been laid on a cabbage leaf in someone's garden. Inside each egg, a caterpillar is growing. And here's our mystery fact. Why are the eggs always laid on the underside of the leaf? That means not on the top, but on the bottom, okay? Let's turn it upside down and find out because it's cooler and wetter, and the sun won't dry them out. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep reading. The caterpillars are hatching. As soon as the tiny caterpillars hatch, they start to eat. Caterpillars spend most of their time eating. You can see that they have already made a hole in the cabbage leaf. You see that? And here's our mystery fact. What is an instar? Can you make a guess what an instar might be? Let's find out. Every time a caterpillar breaks out of its old skin, it gets a new, it's called a new instar. So it's a stage in their growth. So every time they break out of their old skin, which I assume we'll find out in a little bit, it's a new stage and it's called an instar. Interesting, huh? All right, they're getting a little bit bigger. Because they eat so much, the caterpillars grow fast and pretty soon they're too big for their skins. They will split their skins and climb out. What happens when you get big? Your skin grows with you, doesn't it? Yeah, but the caterpillar has to split its skin and climb out. How much does a caterpillar eat? How much do you think? How many cabbage leaves do you think it eats? 100, 200, five, one, 20. About 20 leaves during its lifetime for a caterpillar. That is a lot of coleslaw. Oh, look, the caterpillars have gotten bigger. Here they are in their new skins. They have different colors and patterns on their skins, but they're the same caterpillars, all right? So the first one is the first instar. That's the first time they change their skins. And now they're in the second instar because they've changed their skins again, okay? And this says, do caterpillars have bones? What do you think? Do they have bones? We have bones, right? When you touch your head, you can feel that hard bone under there or you can feel your ribs, but caterpillars don't have any. Nope, they have a hard skin that acts like a skeleton and keeps their body together. All right, let's keep reading. Oop, now he's in his third instar, his third stage, his third new skin. This caterpillar is losing its old skin, which had white stripes along its side. See the white stripes? This part is the old skin right here, okay? The new skin has no stripes, and it's bigger, and the caterpillar can grow more inside its skin. You see, there's the new part of his skin that doesn't have stripes, and the old part of his skin with stripes. Okay. The mystery fact says, why does a caterpillar have to shed his skin? Why do you think? Well, its body keeps growing, but its skin can't stretch like yours does, so it has to split its skin and get a new one so it can continue to get bigger. All right. Okay, we're 
we're still in the third instar. See, it's still got that same yellow and black with no stripes. Caterpillars have eight legs on each side. Isn't that weird? You can count them in the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one way back here, eight. But they look a little bit different. Some of them, don't they? Some of them look like they can move, and others look like they're kind of stubby. Kind of different, huh? You can also count the spiracles. Spiracles are the little holes that caterpillars breathe with. Let's see. Did I see one? Oh, yeah, I can see them. They're really hard to see. There are these little tiny holes. There's one here, and one here, and one here, and one here. So there's one in each section. See them? Little tiny holes. So instead of having a nose like you do to breathe, they breathe through their skin. Okay, here's our mystery fact. How many spiracles does he have? Now you have two nose holes, right? One, two. And he has 18. He has nine on each side. So nine and nine must be 18. <clears throat> All right. Now they're in the last instar. Okay. That's the last time they're going to split their skins. Now the caterpillars are very big and they're ready to change. They spin a silk thread to hold themselves to the twig. Okay. You see that? And then they start to change. The caterpillar on the left is now called a pupa. That's a funny name, isn't it? Now, do butterflies make cocoons? No, butterflies don't make cocoons. They make something called a chrysalis. Cat or, uh, moths make a cocoon. Okay? All right, now inside its skin, the pupa, the pupa can't move, but everything is changing inside. He's growing wings under his skin, and its eyes grow and get bigger. But you can't see all this much from the outside. Okay? How can a pupa eat while it's still inside its skin? It doesn't. For four weeks, it doesn't eat. Instead, the pupa lives off the food it ate when it was a caterpillar. So it must have stored the food in its body somehow. Okay? Here we go. There he is in his chrysalis. Oh, it's almost time. At last, the butterfly is ready to come out. You see that? It's starting to split open. First comes the head with its new feelers called antenna. You see it right there? There's its antenna. Okay. And next come the six long legs. The other ten legs are gone. And our fact is, do butterflies see the same things that we see? I wonder. Let's find out. They see most of the colors we see. Plus, they see an extra color called ultraviolet, which we can't see. Hmm. All right, finally, the new butterfly climbs out of the chrysalis. At first, the wings are wet and crumpled. You see that? But the butterfly slowly moves them, and they dry out. Blood pumps into the veins and helps them strengthen. Okay? Why are there no butterflies on cold days? What do you think? You don't really see butterflies much when it's cold outside, do you? Now that I'm thinking about it, let's find out. Butterflies can, can't use their wings when it's too cold. If it's colder than 70 degrees, which is a pretty warm day, they have to stay still and hide. Their wings don't work properly. That's interesting, isn't it? It's got to be pretty warm. All right, this butterfly is eating. Look at that. You see its long tongue coming out and going into a flower? A butterfly doesn't eat leaves like a caterpillar. It sucks the nectar from flowers. It unrolls its long tongue, or proboscis, like a straw. When it wants to fly away, the butterfly rolls its tongue up again. Wouldn't that be funny? If you had a tongue that long, look at that. That tongue is almost as long as his body. Your tongue would hang clear down to your, to your belly, wouldn't it? Okay. Do butterflies prefer some flowers to others? I wonder. Do you think butterflies have favorite flowers? Let's find out. Most butterflies like purple and blue flowers and are less interested in yellow and red ones. So butterflies like purple and blue. Interesting, huh? Now cabbage white butterflies only live about four weeks. That's not a very long time, is it? They need to find a mate and lay their eggs in that short amount of time. Okay? When is the best time to look for butterflies? around midday. That means around noon when it's the warmest. Okay. In about
about a week, the female lays her eggs on the cabbage leaf. She taps the leaf with her feet and she smells it with her feelers to make sure that the cabbage is good. The eggs will hatch in a few days. You see, she's laying her eggs right on that cabbage leaf. Okay. Why does she tap the leaf with her feet? Remember? She can taste the leaf with her feet. So instead of using her tongue, like we do, she uses her feet. Ooh. Would you want to taste everything that you step in with your feet? I don't think I would. I can think of some nasty things that I've stepped in that I wouldn't want to smell <laughs> or wouldn't want to taste. So that's how a butterfly grows. First it's an egg. See if you can remember. First it's an egg and then it's a caterpillar, right? And then it's a where it stays really still and changes to the butterfly. Do you remember what that's called? A chrysalis. And then finally, it's an adult butterfly. Thanks for reading with me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.